In this lesson, we're going to continue along with our mansard roof. And the way we do this is we create a uh, one roof for the bottom part, which is a just a regular roof by footprint with um, sloped edges. But we use our cutoff level to cut that off. And then we go to that level and create another roof. So these are two really different pieces of roof um, in the way we're going to show you how to do this. So the first thing I'll point out is that I've created a new level here. If I go to my south elevation, you'll see we have my level one we have my level two and I have a new level here just called roof one and this is the point at which the roof is going to slope up to here and then it's going to change the pitch to that double slope to get that so I have a new level here called roof one and that's the level and we're going to take advantage of that level so we'll start with the bottom part we'll go to here I'm on level two and I'll simply go roof by footprint so I go roof by footprint. Once again you can put this on your quick access toolbar. Roof by footprint and I can set my overhang here. I'm on level 2. Um, I can set my rafter cut etc. And all I'm going to do is hover over this tab, pick all those edges. Now they are all sloped all the way around so I have that. I can go in and change the slope if I please. They should all be the same slope. But what I'm going to do inside of um, here is I am going to um, now the cutoff level does not show up while you're sketching it. I believe I have to pick on it as a property after the fact. So let's just leave it like this and we'll say finish roof. So the first crack is it creates the roof like that. Now maybe I even want it steeper. So let's click on here. I'm going to change this to be a 12-12. But you'll also notice after the roof is created there's something called cutoff level here. Now I can go into this cutoff level and say cut off at roof one. That's that level I created. See what it does? It cuts off the roof at that level. Okay, click out. Now if I actually move that level, if I go to my south elevation, okay, I can take this level. Okay, let's just squeeze this down a little bit. Okay, put it over here to the side. Zoom out. Okay, I can take this level and watch what happens. As I move it up or down, Okay, it's controlling, look at our other views, the level at which that is cut. And we can draw a cross section through there as well. So that's the bottom half of our mansard roof. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to roof level 1. Okay, On roof level 1, I'm going to create another roof. So I'm going to go up to here and say home, roof by footprint again. Okay, and this time instead of pick walls, I'm going to use the pick edges and I'm going to go. Um, now, I don't want any offset, so watch. Pick, and I can lock it. Okay, pick, lock, pick, lock, pick, lock. Escape, escape. Now, hover over here, tab to pick all these edges. Probably don't want that to be as steep, so we'll probably bump this down to be maybe a 412 slope. Click out. Okay over here and then finish my roof and then I can minimize this you can see there SD on the keyboard gives me that okay so there's where my slope changes again my walls in this view are showing up because I have an underlay on there but I can get rid of those walls okay and I can maximize this view and there is my mansard roof now is it sitting in there exactly right? Uh, not quite. Let's go down to our south elevation here for a second. Okay. Let's pick on this roof. Okay. Now we might have to nudge that up. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Okay. I'm nudging that up. And I can also use my align tools probably. Let's try that. Let's say align. I can use it off my quick access toolbar. Or you can go over here to modify and say align to here this guy. And then lock it. Okay, now it's going to be dead on. So now if I move this up or down, oh, um, actually, yeah, that's not going to quite work, but we'd have to undo that for a second. But SD on the keyboard, we have that. Let's minimize that view. Exit. Okay. So there is our, um, and you have to watch it with locking because sometimes locking is good, but then when you go to change things, it causes a bit of a problem. So um, there's our mansard roof with one roof as the base and then another little roof as the top.